Hey, in this video, I'll teach you how to easily install the subscribe button in DaVinci Resolve. In order to install this button, uh, you'll need to undertake three steps, which is downloading the file, putting the file into the right place, and customizing your subscribe button. So without wasting time, let's see how it's done. Let's first um, start up DaVinci Resolve. Um, let's make a new project. Let's go to the edit bar. Okay, once you've downloaded the files, um, you can see here the similar files, you have to place it in the right folder. To find that folder, you can go to the Fusion tab, then go to Template, Edit, Titles. This is the folder where you want to place it. In order to open this folder, you can go to the three dots, select it, Show Folder, and this will open the folder where you have to paste your file. This is a Mac, I also have a Windows, uh, so you have to choose the right file for your uh, operating system. In this case, it's Mac. Command C or Control C and paste it, Control V. Now you have pasted it in the right folder and it should pop up in the title section. Let me show you. Now I already have some stock footage here. I'll put this in DaVinci Resolve. There we go. Change it, I don't mind. Now to find the file, you have to go to Effects. This will open up this tab. Go to Toolbox, go to Titles, and there it should be. I'm not sure how we called it. I think it's YouTube Subscribe Button Average, right? It's the last one I created. Yes. Then it's simply just placing it into the file. Uh, in order to customize it, you have to press it then you go to the file name. Uh, if you press browse, you can search for your image. In this case, I will use an image of myself. Sometimes it asks for permission or in order to change it, you can just press yes. Um, then um, you have to position the image in the right place so it fits nicely to the circle. Sometimes this is a bit of a puzzle uh, if you have a very small or very large image but uh, play around with it and at some point you'll have it placed nicely. And that's it. Now I also uh, made a field count calculator in it. I don't have that many subscribers, but imagine you have, I don't know, 500K subscribers. You can type it and it will appear. Now also make sure uh, it's long enough. I made it six seconds and nine milliseconds something like this so oh, it's, this is the, the right length now because the file is really big it can take a while to load uh, my computer is not strong enough to load it immediately so what you could do to speed this up is right click the clip press render in place choose quicktime then make sure to choose dnxhr this is important uh, because you also want a transparent layer. Otherwise the background will become black and that's not what you want. Then press render, save it. Uh, this could take a while, but it will be worth the time because it will play very smooth. <clears throat> and there it is. And you can immediately see how easily it plays the video without any stuttering or whatever. Um, keep in mind, you cannot um, change the image now because it's a video. And that's basically it. If this video was valuable for you, give it a like and maybe a subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.